Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I'm here in South Shore, Blackpool, very sunny South Shore. I am outside the solarium here behind me, which is just over the road from where the mirror ball should be, the famous world's largest mirror ball should be right about here. <laughs> it's not there at the moment, but it will be back very soon, I promise. So this is a park here at the back of the solarium. Quite a nice little space, really. A bit quiet around the town if you fancy coming down here for a bit of peace and quiet. Check out this model of the solar system they've got around the back of the Solaris. They've got the sun there in the middle and it goes all the way out to planet Pluto. This was done in 2006, just as Pluto was downgraded in that year by the International Astronomical Union. But it's still a planet here. You can even sit on the rings of Saturn, how about that eh? Yeah, so this is a Solaris Centre as it's known these days and this video does have a, a solar theme. I'm going to be telling you about a solar eclipse that will be visible from Blackpool this coming Thursday, June the 10th. In fact, it's going to be visible all over the country and just up the road there we should have the mirror ball but it's been away for restoration and it will be back very soon. Yeah, so we've got a partial solar eclipse happening here in the UK on June the 10th, Thursday, and it's going to start at 10 o'clock and last till half 12. So at 10 o'clock is when the moon first starts to uh, touch the sun. And around about 11.30 is when you're going to get the maximum. It's going to take a chunk out of the sun and it'll look like a Pac-Man. I think it's going to be up to 30% from here in Blackpool. So if you are in Blackpool or anywhere else in the UK, it's worth looking at it, but you can't look at it with your eyes. See, the best way to do it is to use the projection. Put a pinhole in a piece of card and put it up against a wall or something like that. And then you can see it on the card safely. The only thing is it'll be very small. If you want it to be bigger, you can use binoculars. Just turn the binoculars around the other way and just shine them on uh, a piece of paper or something like that. But be careful, do not look through the binoculars at the sun. As I said before, don't look at the sun with your eyes unless you've got special eclipse glasses or something like that. Use the projection method, but don't look at it. In fact, if the sun was setting and the moon was cutting across the sun, it would look really, really cool. Yeah, so this eclipse is actually going to be an annular eclipse for those places that are lucky enough to see it, which is, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to go on an expedition to see it, but I don't think many people are gonna get to see this because you're gonna need to be in Greenland or Northern Canada, even on the North Pole to see the maximum eclipse and the moon will not block out all of the sun. It will leave a ring in the middle because the moon is further away in its orbit. That's why this is called an annular eclipse here in Blackpool we will see this partial eclipse, this chunk taken out of the sun at around about 30 maximum and you can just imagine if the sun was actually going down at the time it moved in at the time it moved in front of the sun it would look really really cool and I think you would actually be able to look at it as well with your eyes because it's fairly safe to look at the sun at sunset because it's looking through more atmosphere. So there you go that's my little video telling you about this partial solar eclipse which is happening in the UK and here over Blackpool we get to see about 30% of the sun taken away at about half 11 on Thursday the 10th. There you go, make a note of the solar eclipse on June the 10th and see if you can see it using those methods that I was talking about before. Anyway, I'll try and keep you posted on the mirror ball here situation. It should be back within a month, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again next time.